Chicago, located at the southwestern tip of Lake Michigan, was incorporated as a city in 1837. It quickly became a bustling hub of commerce and trade, thanks in large part to its strategic location at the convergence of major waterways. The Chicago River, flowing through the heart of the city, played a vital role in shaping its destiny. In the early days, the river served as a lifeline for the city's economy, facilitating the transportation of goods and raw materials. However, as Chicago grew, so did its ambition to build upward. The Great Chicago Fire of 1871, devastating as it was, provided an opportunity for the city to rebuild and redefine itself through innovative architecture. One of the pivotal figures in Chicago's architectural history was the renowned architect Louis Sullivan. Sullivan, along with his partner Dankmar Adler, developed the concept of the skyscraper, revolutionizing urban design. The auditorium building, completed in 1889, stands as a testament to their vision. It was not only one of the first multi-story buildings with a steel frame, but also an architectural marvel that combined functionality and aesthetic beauty. As the 19th century gave way to the 20th, the Chicago School of Architecture emerged, championing the use of steel frame construction and the concept of form follows function. Architects like Daniel Burnham and William LeBaron Jenny left an indelible mark on the cityscape. The Home Insurance Building, completed in 1885, is considered the world's first skyscraper, reaching a staggering 10 stories. This marked the beginning of a new era in urban design, forever altering the city's architectural trajectory. The Chicago River's role in this transformation was twofold. First, it served as a convenient waterway for transporting construction materials, making it easier to build the towering structures that now grace the skyline. Second, the river provided a scenic backdrop for these architectural masterpieces, reflecting their splendor and magnificence. Perhaps the most iconic representation of Chicago's architectural prowess is the Wrigley Building, completed in 1924. Rising majestically along the river's edge, this magnificent structure showcases the city's commitment to architectural grandeur. Its clock tower and meticulously detailed facades stand as a testament to the city's vision and ambition. The Chicago River Walk, a recent addition to the city's architectural landscape, has transformed the riverfront into a vibrant public space. Opened in phases starting in 2001, this promenade stretches along the south bank of the river, inviting residents and visitors alike to appreciate the beauty of the river and the surrounding architecture. The River Walk exemplifies Chicago's commitment to urban renewal and the creation of inviting public spaces. Today, as we gaze upon the Chicago skyline, we are greeted by a breathtaking panorama of architectural diversity. The Marina City Towers, the Willis Tower, formerly known as the Sears Tower, and the Trump International Hotel and Tower all contribute to the city's distinct personality. Each building tells a story, reflecting the era in which it was conceived and the vision of its architects. In conclusion, the history of Chicago is intertwined with the story of its architectural development and the Chicago River, has served as a canvas upon which this evolution has been painted. From the birth of the skyscraper to the creation of modern urban spaces, the city's commitment to architectural excellence continues to shape its identity.